Good morning! Welcome back to another video, guys. Since quarantine has started, your girl has done... Oh my god! So like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. Since quarantine started, your girl hasn't left this whole bummy book. Um, this is basically my everyday thing now. Go to whatever you want to call it. This is me 24-7. So today I thought I would get out of that and actually get ready. Like really, get ready. I'm talking hair, I'm talking makeup, I'm talking all that stuff. So this isn't gonna be that extreme glow up transformation, like the whole tanning, the whole lash extensions, nails, because I don't do any of that. We're just gonna do a simple glow up transformation, okay? Because I haven't seen any change in myself for don't even know how long. So let's get this transformation started. Let's get this transformation started, shall we? So for today's weather, it is said to be in the high 80s and that already is a pretty hot day for me. So I thought I'd go ahead and choose this little cheetah print dress. I got this one from JCPenney, if I'm not mistaken. So this will be our option for today. Hey guys, so now that I am showered, I am gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. Fun fact, I never blow dry my hair. I usually just let it dry on its own and um, I'm not gonna let it do that today because it does take hours for it to dry completely. So this is our best friend, okay? So hair is now dry and that actually took a lot of work My hands are literally tired from blow drying my hair So I'm gonna take a little break on that and we're gonna focus on the makeup So let's go before jumping into the whole makeup deal I'm gonna go ahead and just clean my brows really quick get rid of the little unibrow that I have and clean up the stash So before I started using these little eyebrow shavers, I would always thread my eyebrows I felt like it was so much better than plucking out my eyebrows that stuff hurts so much. I remember like a few years ago when Debbie decided that she wanted to clean my brows and she decided to pluck them. That was the worst day of my life. I was in so much pain. I legit cried because of how much it hurt. No, never again. So I decided I would go ahead and do the whole threading deal and that became my favorite way to clean my eyebrows. I have never waxed my eyebrows and I don't plan to. I actually have to buy some new eyebrow um, shavers because these ones I have had for a little while and they already feel like they're wearing out so to restock on some new shavers. This is also very hard to do one-handed. Usually when I clean my eyebrows I hold back these bangs with one hand and then I am cleaning my brows with the other hand but since I'm doing this on camera, I kind of got to do it one-handed. So this is kind of a challenge. How do you guys clean your eyebrows? Do you guys thread them? Do you guys pluck them? Shave them? Or do you wax them? Comment down below. Very curious to know. All right, I think we are set. Now for the makeup. Alrighty, so it has become a thing for me to start off my makeup routine or just doing makeup by starting off with my brows. So before I even put like foundation on or concealer or whatever, I like to get my eyebrows done first. For some reason, it seems quicker to do it that way. I don't know, don't ask how, it just does, okay? So when I do my brows, it usually takes like 20, 25 minutes, half an hour most because I try so hard to make them look like my brows so I try to keep my shape the same I try not to keep them too thick or too thin you know I don't know I just I want them to be my brows I like when they look like my brows so that's what I'm gonna try to do right now so enjoy this little moment <laughs> so jumping into my favorite suavecita brow pomade that is what I'm gonna be using for my brows you know 
the usual. So from what I've been told, it's easier to start at the end. So what I like to do is kind of start at the bottom here and just kind of start working my way to the end of my brow rather than just starting at the brow. And then as I'm doing that, I am slowly working on the front portion as well. And also when I do my brows, I like to use the zoomed in portion of this mirror that I have. This mirror, it was actually a gift from B Bell. One day she went to the store and she came back and she told me I bought you a mirror so when you do your makeup you can use it. And it's actually come in handy because like I said for my brows it does take a little while. So now that I use the zoomed in portion of this mirror it helps me so much better. Gotta thank Bebo for that. Alrighty, so one brow is kind of set. So, I'm gonna focus on the next one. I will see you guys when I finish them both. Alrighty, so now that both brows are done, they're not complete though, because I still have to do the whole concealer and all of that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my face. So, taking my Revlon primer, just gonna put that on this little area here. Okay, now that that's set, it is time for foundation. And I actually don't know if I want to use my Fit Me foundation or my Too Faced foundation. Because I've actually been in the sun a little bit the last couple of days. So I did get a teensy, teensy bit darker, but not so much. So I don't know which will fit. Screw it, I'll just do Fit Me foundation. I like this one anyways. So, taking my booty blender, well first actually putting this on my hand, like so. Now I'll take my beauty blender and just put that all over my face. So I'm not really sure what kind of makeup look I want to go for yet. Kind of want to mess with my Selena palette, kind of want to mess with my Disney palette, but I don't really know. So I'm going to do some experimenting today. So now moving back to the eyebrows, now I'm going to go ahead and fix them up with a concealer. And to fix my brows, I don't use my beauty blender, but what I'll do is I will grab a little bit of concealer and put some on my arm here. And with this little brush right here, this one is from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure it's not a concealer brush, but I like to use it like one because I feel like it does the job really well with fixing my eyebrows. So just going to rub that into the concealer that I have on my hand and away we go. So I usually start at the bottom and just lightly, lightly brush it against my brow. Kind of just get that line going. Then I just work my way to the end of my brow like that. And then I just brush all of the concealer and just blend it, blend it, blend it. And then I will do the same thing on the upper portion as well. And my eyes are starting to burn. Gotta love contacts. Okay, so don't mind my watery eyes, but <laughs> now that the eyebrows are how I want them to be, now I can go ahead and continue on with the concealer portion. I don't know why I'm talking like if it's a tutorial. <laughs> don't mind me, guys. I really gotta clean up these eye bags, guys. They are not the business. My sleep schedule has been super ridiculous, not even fun, so. Alrighty, so for the eyes, I decided to jump into a few different palettes. So to start off, I'm gonna go into my Midnight Masquerade ColourPop and Disney palette. And I'm just gonna start off with the shade Pip which is this neutral color right here. Figured I'd start it off as a base. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go with this eye look yet, so bear with me. Alrighty guys, makeup and hair is set. Therefore, it is time for the final reveal. And here it is. So I decided to just straighten my hair and I feel like straightening it is different enough because I don't do it all the time. It's very rare that I decide to straighten my hair. So we got the hair set. 
And then we have the dress on and some little booties to go with them. And then for the makeup, I went ahead and combined a couple palettes. So I went ahead and jumped into my Midnight Masquerade palette from Disney and Colourpop. And then I also used my Selena palette as well. And then I created this little thingy. <laughs> and then I completed it with the Morphe liquid lipstick. I feel like I'm ready to party, honestly. I'm also kind of getting like rocker vibes in a sense with like the cute dress, the booties, and then my freaking tattoos. It's a vibe, guys. It's a vibe. <laughs> So now that we are all set, I am going to try to take some pictures and post them on Instagram before this sunset finishes. This literally lasted me a total of six hours. I think I started filming this video around noon and then it carried on until now. What time is it? It is gonna be seven. So about seven hours that this Took. Also because I had a little break in between to eat something because your girl was kind of feeling anxious during the filming. So, total of six hours. <laughs> I think it's well worth it. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. It literally took like six hours because of the whole makeup thing. If it wouldn't have been for the makeup, then this would have probably been done in like two hours, three maybe. So, I don't care. I'm happy though with how everything came out. Anyways, enough talking, let's go take some pictures because this sun is setting. Alrighty guys, so that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below what you thought about today's look. Do we like it? Do we not like it? Comment down below and let me know. Make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when I post my videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here, I am over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!